Are you winning in marriage? Are you winning in business? Are you winning as a parent? Well, I certainly hope so. Hello, this is Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate, and I've got a challenge for you today. I want to challenge you to think about the score a little bit differently in your life, in your relationships, and in your business. I've read a book recently that changed the way that I think about perspectives. It's called The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. Now, most of you are very familiar with Simon Sinek and his famous book, Start With Why, that talks about the foundational principles of why we do the things that we do. Not what we do, but why we do them. In this book, however, Simon Sinek talks about the infinite game versus the finite game that we're used to in America. In America, typically, we are challenged to te- keep score quarter by quarter, half by half, game by game. For example, in football, if the Patriots are winning at the end of the fourth quarter, they are considered the winner, and the team that they beat is considered the loser. It's the same with tennis. It's the same with golf. There's a beginning and there's an end. It's a finite game. Simon would like to challenge us to think about the fact that we think about our business and our lives and our relationships the exact same way. We tend to keep score incorrectly. And this is what I mean. A lot of times we'll look at the first quarter of this year in business and compare it to the first quarter of last year. If we're doing better, we consider that we're winning. If we're doing worse, we consider that we're losing. Well, what happens if on April 1st, the first day of the second quarter, we close a big sale and all of a sudden now we are ahead of our numbers from the prior year? Are now, because of that day, we a winner? What if the next day after that, that same sale cancels? Are we a loser again? I think you can see a little bit of what what I mean. Another thing we do in business is we keep score year by year by year. On December 31st, we're all rushing to close a sale, we're all rushing to get a number in to our recording system so that we can find out how we did that year, who we are. Are we a winner or are we a loser? How did we do compared to the prior year? Did we win or did we lose? Simon would like to challenge us to look at all of these things. How about this, relationships. Are you winning at your marriage? Like right now, how do you feel? Are you winning? How do you even define winning in marriage? How do you define winning as a parent? Simon would like to challenge us to do status updates instead of final score updates. So if you look at the business that you're having at the end of the first quarter, and it's not as good as the first quarter last year, he would like to challenge you to keep pressing forward. You've gotten a status update, maybe a score like during the game score instead of a final score. And you look at that status update and you make adjustments based on that and you keep pushing forward. Same with your relationships, your marriage, for example. If you feel like right now you take a status update of your marriage and you would say there are some things that you're not doing right or wrong the way that you should be doing them, then it's just a status update. Simon challenges us the only way to lose in the infinite game in business or relationships is to quit. And I hope that you see what I mean here. If that person on March 31st, the end of the first quarter, would have looked at their numbers and would have said, oh gosh, I'm not as good as last year. I'm not good at this. I'm going to change professions. And they wouldn't have held on till that first day of April and had that closing. And now they're a winner again. If they would have quit, they would have lost. If they would have kept going, they would have won in their mind. The same thing at the end of the year when we give all these labels and titles. If you are just a few dollars short from that award that you wanted to win, does the bank know that? Does your mortgage payment, know that if you were to get that closing the 1st of January or the 1st of February, what if you have a banner November when you weren't planning on having a banner November, but in October you looked at your numbers and you were like, oh my gosh, the year is a failure. I'm going to quit. So the challenge for the infinite game is to not think about it as a final score. The only way that you look at things as a final score is if things are truly final. And the only way that's true is if you quit. 
If you decide to give up on your marriage or you decide to give up on your business, then you are going to have a closing date. You're going to say, hey, my business ended October the 31st. I quit. And then you can judge yourself based on everybody else's performance and say if at the end of the game, the finite game, because you made it finite, if at the end of that game, you are a winner or a loser. But my challenge to you today is this. My, and Simon's challenge would be the same thing. Do not quit. Focus relentlessly on the day-to-day -day pursuit of the things that you need to do in order to accomplish your goal. And how do you set the goal if it's an infinite game? Well, my encouragement would be to figure out what kind of life that you want to live, what kind of marriage do you want to have, what kind of business do you need to have the time and money that you need to do both of those things. And then you figure out how to build that business and you work day by day, like Darren Hardy would say with the compound effect or James Clear with Atomic Habits. You work day by day on the little things so that at the end of the process, you have the product that you want. And you don't get discouraged because you're not looking at results. You're looking at how you do at the process. Did I accomplish my calls for the day? Did we go on a date night? Did I give words of affirmation? Did I ask my children good questions today? Did we pray at dinner? All the things that you need to do in order to be the person that you want to be. So the challenge is not don't set goals so that you don't miss your target. The challenge is don't get discouraged by status updates being confused that they are the final score. Because remember, only you dictate when the score is final. So live today as if it were an infinite game in all of your endeavors, in your relationships, in your business, and even in your own personal pursuits with diet and exercise and health and well-being. Look at it as an infinite game rather than a finite game. And remember, the only way to lose is to quit. Again, this is Tad Fulford with Rise Up in Real Estate, and I hope today's thought will help you definitely rise up.